madness in walls is like BP. Once you get it, you can never cure it. Wait, have you noticed lately most houses have problems with damp walls? So what exactly are the causes of this dampness in walls? Dampness in walls is simply caused by water. So if you are living in a waterlogged area, the possibility of your walls suffering from dampness will be much greater than someone who is living in a much drier place. But there are other causes like lack of dampproof memory and dampproof cause, plumbing leaks, etc. There are different types of dampness in walls that are caused by different factors. But the very common one is rising damp, and that is what we are concentrating on. To fix this, there are five things you need to do. Number one is to choose your location wisely. Two is to use dampproof memory and dampproof course during construction. Three is to fix all pro plumbing problems. Four is to use breathable paint. And five is to allow for air circulation in your house. After going through all this and the dampness still persists, you need to get your mason to hack or chisel out the affected plastering and then do new plastering for you. This time, adding so chems pro bond or Dr. Fix to the mortar before plastering. By all means, do not use tiles as solution for dampness in walls. You are only preventing the moisture that is in the walls from coming out. By so doing, the water will travel up and reappear at the edge of the tiles. Don't fall for people who claim they have quick fix solution for dampness in walls. Then go chop your money. Dampness in walls is like BP. Once you get it, you can never cure it. All you need to do is to manage it and manage it well. Using products like Graffiato and Dampproof Paint are temporary solutions. Permanent solutions are only done at the foundation level before you build.